Folks, we are going to compare the driving experience of the Mini Dump and the automatic version versus the manual version, all right? Take you along with us. Let's show you inside the cab. Chris, why don't you go over on that side? This is the automatic, all right? Let me take that key out of there, get that beeping noise. Automatic, easy. Okay, first, I should, I should mention this. These are right-hand drive, okay? And it's not a big deal. It's not. It's not a big deal at all. I thought it would be, and it's not. The biggest deal about it is that I continuously walk over to that side <laughs> like I've done for my whole life. But operating it, it's not a big deal at all. So we'll do that. We'll show you a little bit of that when we're driving these around as well. But automatic, okay, your, your foot pedal, your brakes on the same side as it is now on any American automobile and your accelerator. Brake on the left, accelerator on the right. I don't know what I just said, but that's how it's set up can select what position, park, reverse, neutral, drive, S and B, whatever those are. And then you have your parking brake, okay? That's it, that's all there is to it. All right, let's show you the, the manual here really quick so you can see that. Okay, Chris wants me to show you the, uh, we're gonna go beyond the transmissions. You do have four wheel drive lock, four wheel drive auto, and you have locking rear diff right there that you can turn on and off as well, okay? So I just normally leave it in four auto. I suppose if I was using this to plow snow, I'd probably just put it in four lock. But anyway, that's what you have going on there. Now, if we look at the manual, still the right side. Still park, or the, the brake, still the accelerator, and you have your clutch over here, just like you do on a uh, American manual, which there's not too many of those anymore, but that, that was one of my first vehicles. I had a, a stick shift, not the first, but one of them. So you have a five speed plus reverse, okay? Oriented the same way. You're just using your left hand instead of your right hand to do that. Still have your parking brake right here, okay? Just like that. Now, the cool thing about the manual is you have a range select. So you have neutral in the middle, but then you have low and you have high, all right? And so kind of like a tractor, for example, if you want to do like, you know, the snow plowing with it, or maybe you're hauling a really heavy load, you can put it in low range, you have some more torque, that way you're not going as fast, but you're not going that fast anyway if you're plowing or if you have a full dump bed, right? If you're just kind of traveling from point A to point B, you can put it in high, all right? So different setups there. Now your, your four wheel, okay, it's just one button to turn it on and off. There's not an, a four wheel auto or a four wheel lock, but you still have the locking rear diff button to push there as well okay uh let's drive the auto first and then we'll drive the manual all right we'll fire up put her in drive and away we go yeah let's drive this way for a minute yeah and i suppose pay attention these are quiet machines again these are built by a division of of uh toyota okay over in japan Diatsu is the name, but these are just a totally different level than a traditional UTV, like a Polaris or a Can-Am or whatever, Honda. Have all your creature comforts, HVAC controls, you know, the heat and the AC, vents, mirrors, side view mirrors and a rear view mirror. Actual steel cab all around, steel panels, big old gigantic dump bed. I'm six foot, almost six foot three. Chris is, uh, Chris is basically the same height as me. That's close. I mean, you know, he's basically the same. I wouldn't say he's taller than me, really, if you want to get technical about it. Unless you measure it. If you want to measure it, maybe he's a hair taller than me, but I mean, we're talking like a hair. Uh-oh. My wife and my dog, no one running over them. I don't see June. June's somewhere. June's somewhere in the, in the weeds. I gotta get this. This may be me. Video that these people ever watch. So, like, this was almost unusable. 
Yeah, that is what it is. Let this trinket try to stay wise. So super easy, right? You're just driving around point A to point B just like any other auto. I mean, there's just nothing to it. There really isn't. Not going fast. These aren't, hey, there's June. These are not machines to go fast. I have no desire to go fast around here. But it's as easy as that. Straightforward, it's actually hot in here. Man, I should turn the air on a little bit. It's 40 some degrees outside today, 44. But that's the experience there, nice and quiet. I want you to notice that great visibility, incredible visibility all around here. Don't you think, Chris, or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, rear visibility, you do have the extra, there's that steel there on the dump bed, which is there for your protection, but it is slotted, so you can still easily see what's going on behind there. But yeah, let's hop in the, uh, the manual, show you that. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, so manual's a little different. Fire it up, take your parking brake off. We got it in low, which we should be fine. Um, I do have the uh, the plow in the front and make sure that's raised up high enough. Yep, we're up high. Actually, I'll probably uh, straighten that out. There we go. Leave that there like so. So what I found when I was plowing snow with this actually is that uh, you could start in second if you wanted to. We'll start in first for now. What am I? Uh, is that my? Huh? Is that my seatbelt? Don't know. It went away. Just there for a second. When I was plowing, I was pretty much in second the whole time. Again, you're not really going fast. At least I'm not when I'm traveling around here. I got lots of turns, lots of uneven terrain. There's June. Now here I am, I, I, I'm in second still this whole time. I can move it in the third, but I don't, I don't really think I need to. I'm not going any faster. I'm gonna turn around here. Still quiet. I mean, it's you can hardly hear these things. They, they are super fuel efficient as well. About 40 MPG, pretty nuts. So, these are actually sold through minidumps.com, all right? You go to minidumps.com to get them, ship these things nationwide, get them with or without a plow if you want. That part doesn't matter. Shift them back to third, I was in second. You definitely drive slower in this one. Well, I got that, I am driving a hair slower, but I've got that plow on the front. I don't want to take a bump and bottom out that plow. I don't want to damage anything. It's getting hot though. But as far as the driving experience, you know, it's not really much different. You know, we're, see, we're going, see, so I'm just leaving it in third right now and we're gonna, we'd stall out there if I didn't, if I didn't push the clutch in and stop. Cause that's, that's just the difference there, right? If you go, uh, if you slow down and you want to speed back up, you gotta, you gotta downshift. But if you ever drove a stick growing up or anything like that, you can figure it out. Same concept, same exact concept in one of these. Boy, it's a beautiful day. Folks, I wanna thank you for coming along. This concludes our mini dump driving experience in the manual transmission.
Be careful and have a great day. So yeah, folks, there you go. You got different options. Um, folks keep asking about this stuff. What's the difference between the, the auto and the manual? Well, there you go. I mean, it's a bit of, oh, I don't know, a bit of, um, well, they're cheaper. The manuals are cheaper, right? So that doesn't hurt. Um, if you like having a little bit more low end torque, you know, if you're gonna do maybe primary purposes or loading the dump bed with heavy loads or maybe primary purposes plowing, maybe you wanna go with the, the torqueier version, kind of like a tractor, right? Get the most oomph out of it. Of course, not that you can't do it with the auto, right? I'm just thinking if you're, if you're looking for pros and cons or making a priority list, you know, maybe a cheaper version or a simpler version or maybe something you're more comfortable with, you know, you have options either way. And so this gives you a little look at the driving experience of either one. You get them with different sets, sets of tires on there, okay? Chris, show them those tires a little bit. But dump beds are the same, right? The, the, uh, the overall footprint of these machines, whether it's auto or, or manual, is gonna be the exact same. Get them with different decal packages if you want or get a plane, that's okay too. Have these big salters on the back. This thing's fancy. We haven't had much snow yet, but did have a chance to use that six-way plow. We got a straight plow as well um, on another unit that's over at our shop. So if you want more information, go to minidumps.com. That's where you can get details, pricing, and buy one of these machines. If you want anything else, like for a tractor, whether it's an actual tractor or a tractor attachment, something for your front end loader or your three-point hitch, we'd love to help you out. We wanna make sure you get set up with the right machine, the right tools, the right connections, all that stuff the first time around. We want you to do it the right way. So goodworktractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.